Good morning everybody. This is Dr. M. Satyanarayana rendering HIV services to the needy for the last 25 years from Ashwini HIV Care, Kukkadpalli, Hyderabad. In this Ashwini HIV Care Awareness video series, today let us know about some basic information on HIV like what is HIV? Why should we know about it? How does it affect our lives? How did it came into the existence? And what is the use of understanding HIV basics? Understanding the basics of HIV not only keeps you healthy from the HIV, but also prevents HIV transmission to others in the community. All of us know HIV means human immunodeficiency virus. It is acquired basically through four routes. Primarily, HIV transmits through unprotected anal or vaginal or very infrequently by oral intercourse. It also transmits through exposure to contaminated blood by sharing needles and syringes among the intravenous drug users. In recent times, it spreads less commonly through the transfusion of contaminated blood and blood products because of improved screening methods in blood banks. Mother to child transmission can also occur during pregnancy, childbirth or breastfeeding. But it rarely occurs nowadays as all pregnant women are receiving ART during their gestational periods. Other than these four roads, HIV is unlikely to transmit by any other means. HIV is a RNA virus that attacks our body's immune system, our body's defense system and weakens it by destroying some of the important components of the immune system called CD4 cells. CD4 cells protect us by fighting against infections and some type of cancers. If HIV is not treated, it can lead to AIDS, which means acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. AIDS is the latter stage of HIV infection in the natural course of HIV illness. In AIDS, a group of disease symptoms appear as the immune system becomes very weak to fight against infections. HIV is characterized by progressive loss of body's immune system leading to opportunistic infections and cancers. Sometimes, HIV can also affect directly some organs like kidney, brain and heart. If it is untreated for decades together, the untreated disease is usually life-threatening and fatal. Without treatment, the average period to develop AIDS from the acquisition of HIV infection is roughly say about 10 years. After the development of AIDS, the survival time usually averages from 1 to 2 years. But there is a tremendous duration variability from person to person in these time intervals. Very few patients progress from acquisition of HIV infection to death very rapidly within 1 to 2 years. On the other hand, few people will not manifest HIV symptoms at all even after 2 decades of HIV acquisition. Currently, no effective cure is available for HIV. Once somebody gets infected with HIV, take it granted that they will have it for their lifetime. But presently available anti-HIV medications dramatically improve the quality of life and overall outcome of HIV disease. Nowadays, HIV has been treated as one of the long-standing manageable lifestyle diseases like diabetes, hypertension and it is not considered as a death sentence if proper timely treatment is taken. People with HIV who get effective treatment before they develop low CD4 counts will have an estimated survival time compared to that of the non-HIV population. They can live a near normal healthy life and at the same time they can also protect their spouses by not getting HIV. It means 
anti retroviral treatment is now considered as prevention to spread the infection to others in the society coming to the global and indian statistics about 3.8 crore people worldwide and more than 23 lakh people in india are suffering from hiv infection as of today going to the historical aspects of this disease hiv infection in humans probably came from a type of chimpanzees in central africa the chimpanzee variant of hiv was passed into the humans as far back as in the late 1800s when they come in contact with their infected blood while they were hunting these chimpanzees for meat over centuries hiv spread slowly across the african continent and later into the other parts of the world and mutated into the present human variant of hiv we know that hiv is existing in the present day world since mid to late 1970s and turned into a global epidemic in 1980s it generally affects the people in the productive and sexually active age group of 15 to 49 years untreated infection in this set of people may lead to premature death and thereby severely affect the socio economic structure of the whole families communities and countries why it is happening like this as we discussed earlier that hiv infection goes unnoticed in the initial years because hiv infection usually doesn't exhibit any symptoms in the beginning this is one of the reasons for failure in early diagnosis and treatment another reason is the amount of stigma and discrimination attached to hiv stigma is creating a major setback in the diagnosis treatment and preventive efforts as hiv spreads mostly through sexual route it becomes very difficult to address it openly as discussing sexuality transmitted diseases is still a taboo in india the only way to know for sure whether anybody is having hiv infection or not is to get tested knowing your hiv status helps not only you to take treatment and stay healthy but also to prevent it from getting transmitted to your partner as well as to the others in the society thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please share it with others and subscribe to the ashwini hiv care youtube channel thank you